commodities trader Trafigura said on Saturday he was assessing the security risks of further Red Sea voyages. This came hours after firefighters put out a blaze on a tanker attacked by Yemen's Houthi group a day earlier. Trafigura said all crew were safe and the vessel is now sailing towards a safe harbour. The U.S. military said a U.S. Navy ship and other vessels provided assistance after the Marlin Luanda was hit. Trafigura said firefighting effort had been supported by Indian, U.S. and French Navy vessels. The Houthis claimed responsibility for this attack on Friday. Marco Forgioni is the director general for the Institute of Export and International Trade. So the attack on the Marlin Luanda in the Gulf of Aden signify a great extension and escalation from the Red Sea to the Gulf of Aden, so geographical extension, and also with the type of weapons. The missile used yesterday was a ballistic missile, and the Houthis started their attacks in the Red Sea using drones. Uh, so we're seeing a technological expansion and a geographical extension. Some shipping companies have suspended transits through the Red Sea and taken much longer, costlier journeys around Africa to avoid being attacked by Yemen's Iranian-backed Houthi group. It began launching waves of exploding drones and missiles at vessels in November in response to Israel's military operations in Gaza. The Marshall Islands-flagged Marlin Luanda issued a distress call on Friday and reported damage, U.S. Central Command said in a post on X, formerly Twitter. A Trafigura spokesperson on Friday said the tanker was carrying Russian oil product below the price cap in line with G7 sanctions. About eight hours after the Malin Luanda incident, the U.S. military destroyed a Houthi anti-ship missile that was aimed into the Red Sea and ready to launch, Central Command said.